Hello everyone and welcome back to my next lecture, which is lecture number four. I hope you're having a great time learning new concepts about Python. And now we're going to talk about tuples, which is maybe one of the most interesting things about Python. So first of all, what are tuples? So tup a tuple is a different data type in Python and you can automatically identify it through round brackets. That's maybe the only thing you need to know about tuples is that you just can notice a tuple from its round brackets. And tuples are immutable, meaning that you cannot really change them because it's a rule in Python. And I bet you're wondering why are tuples being used? Because you, maybe sometimes you want to store a different da uh, data types for different data or information and you don't want that information to be changed. So the ideal structure to use is a tuple because nobody else can change whatever's within it. But there is a way to access items as a tuple. It's exactly the same as lists. So let's say you had a tuple uh, two and four and you set the variable tup equal to two and four. So if you want to access two, all you have to do is just say tup of index zero, because as we talk in the list, the first item is always at index zero. If you want the second item of the tuple, so you can just say tup of one. That's all you need to know. A tuple can be accessed, but you cannot change. Like, for example, let me show you in PyCharm something about tuples. So this was from our last lecture. Um, let's say tup equals to nine and five. And then let's say I want to print top of zero. Let's see how, yeah. So you will be getting a nine. Let's say I want to print the second item. That's going to give you a five. But what happens when I say top at index zero and I set it equals to six? There's a type error here. It says a tuple does not support item assignment. In other words, it's saying that you cannot change whatever is within the tuple. So that's that's something that many new programmers can um, make mistakes on. So it's better, or in other words, I should say, never change whatever is within a tuple. If you want to access something from it, that's possible. So this lecture was very short because that's basically almost everything you need to know about tuples. And unless in our next lecture, we are going to talk about dictionaries. Um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching.